heaven that said, what is that? Well, that was from a man named Sloan Matthews, who was a, uh, like an old cowboy. And uh, he sang that song. And uh, he, when he sang it, he was recorded by Alan Lomax. But uh, well, I think when he sang it, Alan Lomax, my guess is he was singing it in a small room. <laughs> and so he sang it rather quietly, but he talked about it being something that he used to sing on the range to keep the cattle quiet at night. And, and of course, since there were thousands and thousands of the head of the cattle, and since they all had to hear him, my guess is that he was sang it in, in real life a little bit more exuberantly. So that's just a wild guess on my part. Sloan Matthews. From, uh, I, once, I was once doing a program for the, for the Smithsonian in uh, Austin, Texas. And I, I, I rashly said something about uh, the town where Sloan Matthews was from, having the least likely place name in, in uh, Texas, Alpine, Texas. <laughs> And a man came up and uh, turned out that he was a, uh, a government lawyer, and he started cross-examining me. His first question was, he said, well, have you ever been to Alpine, Texas? And I said, well, no. He said, well, uh, if, you, if you had, you would realize that there are lots of mountains there. And, and uh, so Alpine, Texas. And he, he was from Alpine, Texas. He had actually just retired, and so he heard that song, so he started investigating and went home. And, and, and months and months later, I got a, 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 must have been postcards at the time, got a postcard from him, and he said that uh, he'd done some investigating, and he'd actually found Sloan Matthews' two daughters, and one of them had just died, and I should get down there as fast as I possibly could to, to, to meet her, and she had lots of good stories about her father, and uh, I found newspaper clippings and the like, but didn't really know very much about him. So the question I have for you is, did I get on the first plane? Did I go to Alpine, Texas to meet her? I did not. <laughs> and she died the next month, or the, it wasn't the next month, but in, in the next half year. So I never met her, which is a shame. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I'm do another cowboy song. And we're going to get, do it on this beautiful guitar that was made by Ian and belonged to me by Mike. And, and now to be tuned by Jeff. <laughs> song, but uh, I always thought this was a darker song than the way I ever heard anybody sing it, so. Come on. 